So part of me agrees with Tyler Perry and a part of me disagrees with Tyler Perry. A, a lot of women, especially black women, and mm -hmm. I might get in trouble for saying this, but I will. In the, in, in our society right now, mm -hmm. black women are making a lot more money for the most part than yeah. black men, right? There are a lot of black men who are successful, but for the most part, black women are making the money. So you, if you can find love, if that man works, you know, at whatever job, mm -hmm and is a good man and is good to you mm -hmm. and honors and honors the house and honors his wife and does what he can mm -hmm. because his his gift may not be your gift. Exactly. That is okay. Mm -hmm. I want to say this up front that I love and I honor this man and what he's done um, and how he has impacted the community and the culture. But he says some things that I do believe that that a woman should first seek a man with character with integrity, uh, honest, loving, charming, charisma, um, and, and God-fearing. Uh, but I do want to talk about this that I do disagree. I, I do disagree from the standpoint of, hmm, how do I say this? If a man doesn't have his foundation taken care of, then that man should not be focusing on dating. We see that nearly... I would say uh, studies came out recently that, revered, that, that revealed that 9% of all American men, all American men, will make about $100,000 or more within the calendar year of 2023. Now, that's all American men. So that means married and single. So about half of those guys are going to be married. So this means 4% out of all the men in America will make over $100,000 in income when the average household income is going to be right at about, I'll say about $60,000. Only 34% of household incomes will be over a, over $100,000. So from his perspective, I hear what he's saying. Like, hey, listen, queen, if you meet a man who's God-fearing, got character, has integrity, um, um, has a decent job, um, has a career that he's passionate about, and his career field, like a school teacher, may not be as financially lucrative as your career field, lawyer, doctor, nurse, per se, right? That's a good catch. That's a good man because he's operating within his purpose. He's operating within his, his assignment of the world. The man is going to save. The man is going to invest. He's going to be a good student over his income. That's a solid man. And when you really step back, you guys, when you really step back and do the research, uh, when you look at accountants, when you look at school teachers, um, these are the individuals who are coming self, who are becoming self-made millionaires. Well, how is that, Anthony? They're only making sixty thousand dollars. They're only making seventy thousand dollars. Well, it's because they're living below their means and they're investing fifteen percent of their income. They're investing it into a four hundred one k. They're investing it into a four hundred three b. They're investing it into a mutual fund. They're investing it into an HSA account. They're saving and not overspending their income. Uh, uh. But here's where I disagree. And it's common, and, and, and I know Tyler Perry, and, and I'm always I'm always attacked about the things that I say, and I want to be very, very mindful of how I say this, uh, because I, I do believe, however, there is a point in life to where if a man can only pay the electricity bill, I don't know if that's the right man for you. <laughs> if a woman can only pay her electricity bill, I don't know if that's the right woman for me. Because it's not really more so about the amount of money that they're making. It's about what's their mindset to money. How do they think when it comes to money? Do they get their paycheck on Friday and they, they spend it on hair? They spend it on haircuts. They spend it on clubs and drinking and eating out. What, when they get money, how does their brain react to money? And, 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 and if a man in his 30s and a man in his 40s can only pay the electricity bill, we have a problem. If, 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 if a man can, can only buy McDonald's dinner, we have a problem. If a man cannot take care of his four walls, these are the things that are very, very important to just any human being, really. Any human being. If a man cannot take care of his apartment, of his mortgage, or his rent payment, uh, if a man cannot take care of solid transportation, 
to get him to and from work, if a man cannot put food on his table, and if a man cannot keep his utilities on, that man should not be focused on trying to find a wife because it's just going to make the situation worse. I'm not saying um, um, that a man needs to make six figures. I had the opportunity to sit on the panel with, with Sarah Jakes here um, on this past weekend at Woman Evolving, man, and she asked me a question. What's wrong with us men? You know, why are we always chasing and chasing, chasing and chasing wealth and, 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 and skipping over good ladies? And I had to apologize because I was that guy that was focused on trying to make six figures. Got to six figures. Oh, let me get a half a million. Got to a half a million. Oh, let me get to a million. And throughout this whole time, I missed out on finding me an asset. Uh, I missed out on finding my favor because I was chasing the bag. There, there is a time and a place to where a man should be able to take care of himself, the basic necessities of himself. If a man can't pay his utility bills, that's a man who should not be looking for marriage at this moment. If a man cannot take care of rent, if he's bouncing from home to home, this man needs to get his foundation in order so this brother can be a strong leader. And so I agree with, with Tyler Perry. If he can cover those four things and he's in a good career, he loves God, man, he's only going up. That man is only going up from there. That man is only going to be a better man. That man is the man you need to be with because he has character, because he has integrity, and because he loves God. And when you put those three things together, that's a fruitful man. That is a man that is going to live below his means. That is a man that is going to steward his income well. That is a man that he is going to use all the gifts and his talents and the talents that he has inside of him to generate wealth, to generate financial freedom. That is a man that's going to listen to my podcast. He's going to listen to Earn Your Leisure. He's going to listen to, you know, the Dave Ramsey Show. He's going to read books. He's going to continue growing and evolving so he can be a leader and a provider and a protector from his, for his home. And so I, I agree with Tyler Perry from that one perspective, but here's why I got to disagree. Just because he has good character doesn't mean that you overlook the basic necessities that every human being should be able to do, especially in their 30s and 40s and 50s. There's no way in the world I'm signing off my, on my daughter to go marry a 35-year-old man who, who bouncing from house to house. That, that, that. I don't care how he comes in his house. I don't care how he greets me. I don't care how he shakes my hand. And I don't care how much he say he love you. If he's struggling paying rent, and and watch this, y'all. Let me say this. I'm not saying, okay, he lost his job and he's, he's, he's bouncing back. I get that. I'm talking about if his fruit is he's never been able to establish himself financially to cover his four walls, that is, that is evident that we have a bigger issue on hand. We, we have a much bigger issue on hand. It's not just an income problem. It's not just he lost his job problem. That's a mentality problem. And that mentality is a scary thing because you don't want that mentality to come over to you. So I'm curious, what's your thoughts? Do y'all 100% uh, agree with, with Tyler Perry? Like, like, like ladies, brothers, comment. Like, do y'all understand what I'm saying? You know, I, I, I go on record and say this. I've said this several times. I believe every man should be striving to make at least six figures. I think every man should be striving to make at least six figures. You may have a job making $55,000 a year, but how can you make $45,000 on the side with your business, with your hobby, with something that you're passionate about? How can you go from making $3,000 a month to making $8,333 a month? How, what can we do as men? Man, these sisters, I was just in the building and saw 40,000 ladies evolving. I saw 40,000 ladies learning and, and, and Sarah was teaching financial literacy. She was talking about therapy and, 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 and being whole and healing from past trauma. Like I'm seeing these ladies cry and cry out to God and, and healing and coming in there to get the information so that, so that they can grow. And I'm like, yo brothers, we got to do the same thing. 
These ladies can't come to us, and they got the basic stuff covered, and we over here talking about, but I got a good character. <laughs> I got a good heart. <laughs> character and heart don't pay the bills. Now, character and heart and integrity will get you through the door, but work is going to keep you in that door. So let me know if y'all agree with me. Let me know if y'all agree with me. That if, if, if the man can only pay his utility bills, I'm not saying that's not a good man. I'm just saying that's a good man who needs to continue working on some, some of the other priorities that come with the man. Let me know in the comments if you agree with what I'm saying, if you all rock with what I'm saying. If you're listening to this on a podcast, jump over to the YouTube channel. Hey, let me know. Yo, A.O., I agree with you. Or give me some pushback. I love seeing pushback. I love hearing what my people, what my community have to say. All right? Yo, it's your boy, A.O. I want to come here and just drop my thoughts on Tyler Perry. Um, I'm learning to just give my thoughts, especially when it comes to money. Like, I'm, I'm like, hey, listen, there, there's no reason why any of my people should be broke. There's no reason why any of my people, if you listen to my podcast, if you listen to my show, there's no reason why you should be living paycheck to paycheck. There's no reason why you should not be able to at least cover your four walls. Listen to me clearly, you guys. I'm not saying the man needs to be making 80000 90000 100000 a million dollars a year. No, no, no. What I'm saying is wherever this man lives, he needs to be able to be able, he needs to be able to provide for himself the basic necessities. I'm not saying he's driving a Lamborghini. I'm not saying he's even driving a Mercedes or a Bentley. My brother, he needs to at least have, you know, a, a, a Honda in his driveway. He needs to at least have, if you live in New York, he needs to at least have access to transportation. <laughs> the basic necessities the brothers need to have. Because here's the truth, and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll end with this. When a brother finds his favor, when a brother finds his asset, not just an accessory, but when a brother finds his asset, his wife, it's about to be a wrap. I can't wait. I'm very successful at my age today. I'm very successful with, with the company, with the business. But I know a lot more is coming when I find my favor, when I find my wife. Oh, my gosh. We're going to take the world by storm. And I can't wait. Yo, it's your boy, Anthony O'Neill. Love you. I'll see you soon. Peace out.